all my sailor friends and family. Today we are going to talk about how hard is Virginia Beach. Well, if the video is how hard is Merchant Navy, that means it's already assumed that it's hard. But it may be like maths, you know, for some people it is hard, for some people it's easy. So, how hard is Merchant Navy will entirely depend upon your interests, your skills and also other opportunities what, what you have, you know, other options which you have in life. Depending upon these things, you'll be able to know if the Merchant Navy is hard or not. People who don't like Merchant Navy will always say that it's a very hard profession and people like me who love it will always say it's not so hard in fact you know it's passion. Staying away from your family, staying away from your kids, missing out on important events are some of the bad things about Merchant Navy but Merchant Navy gives you a lot in return to these sacrifices. Right question would be do you like Merchant Navy than how hard it is. Working in Merchant Navy is a very demanding job. Previously, it used to be a lot of physical work on ships because ships were not so automated, ships were not so well built and you had very less paperwork. So less uh, mental stress and less performance stress etc. But over the years, this has changed. Now ships have become more modern, they are well equipped and they have a lot of automation so physical work has definitely reduced on board but at the same time you have got a lot of checklist and a lot of performance based skills is required and competition has increased a lot so it will be safe to say that physical work on board has reduced a bit but mental work has increased stress and depression has increased everywhere in the world and same is the case with merchant navy as well for someone who has never lived away from his family just try to be away from them for 15 20 days and then you'll probably realize how hard it can be to stay away from your loved ones for nine months yes i'm talking about the crew because they have contract of nine months of course the senior officers got four months and junior officers six months some will argue that now we have internet on board ships so we are connected and you know we are connected with family friends and communication has increased definitely definitely this the major hazard of shipping was to stay away from your family and not connected with them that has gone with internet but some ships guys have very slow speed internet and what happens then for sending few lines messages it takes like half an hour 30 40 minutes and then you are not sleeping you are after it you know lying in your bed and you are doing this whatsapp and then you are not getting enough sleep and when you don't sleep and then again next day entire day you have to work and probably you have to do a lot of different works which require a lot of concentration so that is somewhat at risk so if you are working for a good company and you have good internet speed definitely it's an advantage but some cases it can be a disadvantage as well now let's talk about workload on each individual on ship guys when i'm talking about workload always read your job description in your company's sms if you're not interested in reading the entire sms or other useful things in it but please take some time out and definitely know your job descriptions because merchant navy can become very hard if you don't know your job description what will happen is seniors sometimes try to give you some jobs which are not yours you know like if i'm a chief mate and my master tells me do this do that i will clearly just tell him you know show him job description and tell him you know this is not my job i mean okay master has got an overriding authority he has got this even delegation authority he can delegate any job to anyone but that doesn't mean that chief mate works 16 hours and master doesn't even work two hours so guys it's always advantage and beneficial for you to know your job description word to word Now we are talking about how hard it is to join Merchant Navy. It's definitely harder now. I joined in 2002, there were 30 guys and 3 were selected. I am sure today there is 1000 of guys for place of 3-4 candidates. And you have to give this IMUCT exams and it is much more difficult. In my days you just give your resume to shipping companies, you do a sponsorship test interview and you are selected as a cadet. So it's definitely much more harder to join Merchant Navy. How hard is the documentation, I mean the exams and the procedures? That has definitely improved with internet coming and DG shipping website working very well. Procedure and examinations, booking, 
renewing your licenses, renewing your CDC, renewing your COC and all other documents has become easier definitely. Last time I renewed my dangerous cargo chemical DC, I did not have to visit MMB. I made, I sent them everything online and DC came home. So that good it is. Earlier we used to be going MMD morning 6 a.m. We used to be in line for paying, paying to bank, for taking forms, for filling, attaching, taking so many Xeroxes and then submitting to them. But that's not the case now. So documentation part has definitely become easier. Now we are talking about how hard is training. Training will have two parts. One part is training ashore and another part will be training on board. Let's talk about training ashore. Training ashore is harder now. Harder for two reasons. One, it is longer. Two, it is much more expensive. During my time, the pre-sea training was four months. So duration of training ashore has increased and so are the fees is are very high. I spend only 90,000 for my pre-sea training. That is pre-sea course for decade. But now to do DNS, you need five, six lakh rupees. So I would say training ashore is definitely harder, mainly because of the too much money involved now. And training on board has definitely become easier because the sea time has reduced. Work rest hour is complied in a much better way now. And senior officers, most senior officers do take care of the rest hours and the onboard facilities even for the deck cadet and junior engineers so training on board is definitely better and easier than how hard it is for kids and family kids and family had really tough time before 15 20 years back there was no internet there used to be letters and letter used to arrive after the guy has signed off and already reached home. So it was that bad, you know, for family and kids. The most important part is communication. And as the communication has increased, communication facilities are better in Merchant Navy. Obviously, the life of sailors, wife and kids is much better now because moreover the contracts are shorter, better facilities, timely relief. In emergency, people are being able to connect and, you know, get a relief. So this is definitely easier than before for family and kids. Next one, how hard it is for a Merchant Navy guy to get married? I would say it's equally hard. Earlier also, not many girls wanted to marry a Merchant Navy guy. I think the situation is same even today. Girls are also educated as good as guys and not most of them prefer Merchant Navy guys. So guys, you need to really work hard to catch a fish. And being in Merchant Navy, you should know how to do fishing. Jokes apart, but yes, it's really hard for a Merchant Navy guys to get married. I still know many guys, you know, who really struggle for years to find a partner. And I have many friends who are still not married also in Merchant Navy. How hard is survival in Merchant Navy? That totally depends upon your personality, your interest and how do you take your job in Merchant Navy. Survival will be easy if it becomes your passion, you start loving what you do and you start analyzing you start analyzing you just don't complain that Merchant Navy is bad first you see what other option you got if you're comparing Merchant Navy with a shore job then you should see the hazards of shore job and then only you know think that Merchant Navy is bad and all people don't compare it with anything they just you know get bored on board or they miss family or they you know life is definitely not a normal life when I say I love Merchant Navy, you know, I don't see any better option. But you will probably say I don't like Merchant Navy because you probably have a much better option waiting for you. Last one, guys, how hard it is to quit Merchant Navy. Quitting Merchant Navy is not that hard because be it deck side or engine side, you will always have a lot of options like options of teaching in marine institutes, option of taking up a shore job. There is entire team working ashore to run ships at sea. So after having experience at sea, that experience counts and you can easily get a sure job and there won't be much difference in the amount of money you will be making ashore or at sea. But the huge difference lies in what money you are saving. At sea, you will definitely save a lot of money because when you are sailing, probably your family is living in India and you're not spending that much. But when you take up a sure job, you'll probably, of course, probably, what probably, 
will definitely shift with your family living in Singapore and Hong Kong. Of course, it's expensive. So all in all, I would say it's easier to quit Merchie Navy now than before. And that is the reason that a lot of people are quitting also. You very rarely find a very, you know, 50 year or 55 year old captain or chief engineer these days because more, many people quit and they don't continue sailing entire life. With that said guys, hope you guys got some information about how difficult or how hard watching is on voyage happy sailing and Jai Hind. I will see you on the next one.